she's absolutely the hottest thing ever to come out of Pittsburgh, and she's setting fire to the world of music with her self-titled debut album, Christina Aguilera, and runaway single, Genie in a Bottle. Her album has claimed the coveted Billboard number one spot, and she's a real platinum blonde, selling the magic one million records. Since signing for RCA and featuring on the soundtrack of Mulan for Disney, Christina Aguilera has become a near unstoppable musical force. Whether it's belting out a pop song or a Mariah Carey-like ballad, Christina's vocal dexterity and range have just amazed the world of pop music. Following in the footsteps of fellow Mouseketeers Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake, Christina has proven that once her talent is let out of the bottle, she's destined for the top for years to come. I mean, I was, I'm just a kid from Pittsburgh, you know what I mean, to be doing what I'm doing now. But uh, uh, anything's possible. grew up in, in Wexford, uh, you know, a, a northern suburb of Pittsburgh. She was actually born in uh, New York, but the family moved here when she was very young, and she, uh, most of her early singing experience was here in Pittsburgh. Started out singing at block parties and that sort of thing, and then uh, slowly uh, got the attention of some people down here in the city. Uh, singing at talent shows and that sort of thing. Star Search, Fed McMahon back then, and um, I lost. Being eight years old, and I, I lost ah. to a 12-year-old like kid. He was good too, Christopher Eason. I will never forget that. But um, that's okay. Well, back in 1990, we were doing a talent showcase very similar to Ed McMahon's Star Search, and Christina submitted, her mother submitted a videotape of her, and we saw her, and our first year, by the, we kind of found out about Christina halfway through the season, it was too late to put her in as a contestant, so we used her as a guest performer at our grand finals. And then we asked if she wanted to be in the show as a contestant the following year, and she said yes. So we had her in the first month, and she went all the way, won every, she, you know, she ended up being an undefeated champion. Um, a couple of the months she didn't have to defeat anybody because a couple of people, <laughs> when they saw her, they wouldn't perform. We had two, two little girls that went off crying. <laughs> this is where I come to like get away sometimes, to be like, you know, relaxed and at home. So all I could think about coming home this time, like I'm, I'm here, I'm in town for this week um, in between uh, showcases and whatnot, but all I wanted to do was come home and scrape my knees and get my clothes dirty and all that kind of stuff, just because sometimes you get so tired of being primped and chaperoned, and you know what I mean? Pittsburgh is a no-nonsense blue-collar town where the most famous product is Heinz ketchup and not a place where stars are naturally created. Her step-pop, Jim Kearns, is a volunteer fireman in Marshall Township, and she has two brothers and two sisters. Her mom works in this bagel shop in Wexford. She too is musical, and she toured widely at the age of 16 with the Youth Symphony Orchestra. I had never heard of her, and I went out to interview her at her house in Bradford Woods, and uh, that was last uh, April. Bradford Woods is a very small community. Uh, it's basically sort of a bedroom community as much as the North Hills is. Uh, just a lot of houses in, in rather wooded areas. The thing I think that I noticed most about the interview was that she wasn't, there wasn't a lot of ego there. Um, and either with her family, they were, they seemed to be very uh, modest. Uh, their home was very modest. They weren't sort of cashing in on her talent as a family. And I don't think her mother had pushed her either. I, I, I had no sense of a stage mom being involved. Uh, if anything, there was maybe some hesitation and can't you wait to do this till you get older? And uh, it, it clearly seemed that Christina was the one that was pushing for it and uh, it, was, it was her dream. 
if it's something that you know you really want to do, then really go for it. It's a lot of hard work. It really is. I mean, again, I mean, to go out on your own and, and do this. But if you're really serious and dedicated, go for it. Her mom has kept Christina grounded and able to deal with her overnight success without absolutely everything going to her head. She's going to give me a kick in the butt if, if you know, I, I get a little too, oh, where's my, um, where's my limo today? You know what I mean? So, you know, it's, um, I've got a good friends and family basis. Family and friends have helped enormously, but in some situations, a professional guiding hand has been necessary to ensure Christina gets what's right for her and for her future. Well, I, I do have a manager do. and an agent who who protect me, and um, I, have, I have other good people around me from my record company too. My A and R guy is really really cool mentor. <laughs> Her manager might enable her to get what she wants, but it's her amazing singing voice that has taken her to the top. We put together a whole package deal of a, a picture. We had a, photos taken and um, a demo tape. So if you have any songs together, you know, to, for original material to hand in to record companies to shop around. But you really need the help of management, I would say, to really get, a, get your foot in the door. For one, she's got a, a really powerful voice, and she sings with a maturity that's, you know, not at all uh, what you'd expect out of an 18-year-old. She was this little, tiny, skinny girl, little skinny legs, and the last thing in the world you would have expected was for her to open her mouth and have this tremendous voice come out. She had an adult voice, and we always talked about the fact that we could have put her behind a curtain and entered her in our adult female vocalist category and she would have probably still won. 